Hello and welcome back to another episode of Getting Started with Dwarf Fortress for New Players, the tutorial series here with me, the Mucho Mouse. So last episode we dug out, uh, or we had dug out all of this, we had assigned some uh, stockpiles for seed, drink, and foods. We built a still to brew alcohol, we built a butcher shop to kill animals and get meat and skin. I constructed a tanner in between last and this episode so that when we butcher something someone can come here and tan that skin. Uh, I'm going to add a stockpile back here as well. We'll just do that now while we're talking to re reiterate uh, about how that is important. So that's just a leather stockpile. We don't need to change anything about that. I have also ordered a leatherworks here. It's probably not going to be built yet. We're going to store leather goods next door here. We also have the fishery where fish come to die uh, once they've been fished. We have a kitchen that will uh, render fats into tallow once we butcher things. So this can happen a little bit automatically. We're going to just quickly check here and see that uh, tallows can be stored here. We see fat can be stored here and pastes can be stored here. So that means rendered fats can also be stored in here. So the dwarfs are merrily moving things around and in this quick little episode, which is hopefully going to be a little bit shorter, we're going to look at some automation mechanics for, uh, for animals here using DF Hack. So I'm going to open DF Hack uh, real quickly. Come on, DF Hack. I'm going to turn that on for you as well so you can actually see. Uh, there we go. And in DF Hack, we can actually pause the game in the background so we don't have so much stuff happening. So in DF Hack, there is a plugin called Auto Butcher. Uh, this is very useful for managing animal populations. Uh, and also for automatically making you food. Uh, and in Auto Butcher, we essentially can say that we do not want more uh, uh, of th than this amount of X type of animal. Uh, and the way we can do that is we just go into DF Hack, which is the other window you op that opens with Dwarf Fortress, and we just type Auto Butcher. And we ask it to start. Starting. And then we can ask it for a list. And it gives us the status. And it says auto butcher setter. It is enabled. It has no auto watch. And it sleeps for 6000 uh, milliseconds. The default setting for new races is 5151. The auto butcher race list is empty. Uh, so what's that telling us is that it's not automatically adding animals that show up uh, as domesticated animals to our list. And we would like it to do that, so we can do that by say auto butcher, auto watch, auto watch started. Um, now I was about to say let's unpause and let it do that, but before we do that, we would like to set the new default. Because I know we have a lot of turkeys, we have a lot more than five. And we're going to talk about what this means in a second, don't you worry. Uh, and I would not like it to immediately tag. Uh, all my uh, all my turkeys for butchering, and it's even and the post state is actually detecting it. So if we now ask for a list, we can see here. Races on auto butcher list. It has found all our birds and all our animals. So what I like to do here uh, for new things is I would like to set up a new auto butchering target for all races. We will change the default. And the way we do that is we'll say auto butcher. And we will say target. Um, or is it? Uh, yeah, target. And then we enter four numbers. So I say 10, 10, uh, 10, 2. All. Setting new target for the race all. Uh, target count for all races on the watch list and count for all the future. 
So what this means is you see it'll say in here it says F K M K F A M A. And this means female kids, male kids, female adults, male adults. So what I've told Auto Butcher now is that for every race, unless I specify otherwise for a particular race, the default then is you keep ten children, ten female children, ten male children, ten female adults and two male adults for all races. So if we hit list now, we can see that this is updated for everything. Now this works well for everything we have in our list right now. I can keep a lot of these. But I believe I mentioned in the Embark that I do not want cats. So I'm going to put up an auto butchering job to make sure that we don't have any cats. And the way I can do that is by just hitting up a couple of times to change this to the last command. And then we go here and I say zero, 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 zero. And this time it's not for all, it's going to be for cat. Now you have to write in capital letters for this and we don't have cat in the list, but I can manually add it because I know it's an animal in the game. So if we now hit list, we see not watched cat because there's no cats here yet. But once migrants show up, they might bring cats, and we want the cats to die immediately. Uh, so then we can just go back into the game, close out DF hack for us there in a minute, just minimize that, and hit a, uh, let the game on pause. And now I think he is trying to butcher, uh, yeah. We see here, I'm gonna tell you how I did that because this is tutorials after all. I'm gonna hit Z and that puts me in the animal screen immediately. If I hit enter now, we go into animals. And because the default was five, 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 one or something, it has targeted a lot of our hens for slaughter. Now we do not want that. So we're gonna to have to uncheck that by hitting B Like so, because none of these are within the range for being slaughtered yet. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's actually, it's just ten turkey hens, which is how many female adults we would like to keep of that race. Yeah, so there he's taking the turkey back, saving it in there. So that was auto butcher, a way to automate the butchering of animals. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to look at uh, getting the still up and running, which is very important to make alcohol. Uh, and for that, we probably will need some more workshops uh, set up. We have to get into the carpentry industry. So we will talk maybe about that in the next episode, and then we'll immediately go into the still. So see you next time.